we're here at the Circle K at Florida and uh, Hillsboro, and we're going to be talking to people today about how the bus system is in Tampa, what's the public transit like, you know, what can we do to make it better or more efficient. Let's go figure it out. Here we go. Looks like the bus is coming up right now. So we're actually, uh, we're here right on time as the bus is coming out. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna see uh, what's going on with the bus transit system. Let's find out. Excuse me. Hey, we're with Tampa News Force. We're actually doing a story about the public transport. Uh, how do you feel about the bus system? Uh, a little slow. I'm from a city where it's a little faster. But oh yeah, what city are you from? I'm from up north, from Buffalo, New York. Okay, I'm from Washington, D.C., so we got the metro and the subway yeah, and all that. Yeah, we have so, subway, too, in Buffalo. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I, you think it's just the pace of life in Florida, or is it actually the bus system itself? Uh, I think the bus system itself. Because Tampa's gotten a little faster now, I mean, than it was 30 years ago. Yeah. So I've been so, here for a while. but Okay, yeah, no, it's definitely... It's a little bit better than it was. But, yeah, it's definitely better than it was. Yeah, yeah we're definitely, uh, you know, becoming a more major city, pretty functioning. So what could we do to possibly make it better? How do we make it faster? Uh, possibly get a monorail, like Miami. Mon you think so? <laughs> yeah. Well, look how much land oh, we have. Spread. Huge tracks of land. That's more express you know, buses. More ex okay, more express more buses. more connecting routes. More connecting routes. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. So overall, if you had to grade it, what would you give it? Uh, a C minus. C minus? Yeah. Wow, C minus for the Tampa bus system. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for talking to us, man. My name's John. All right, thank you, John. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Appreciate you. Excuse me. We're with Tampa News Force. We're talking. We're talking to people about the bus system. Would you guys want to talk to us about the buses? Get the assholes off the bus? Okay, who are the assholes? Uh, there's about two or three people that I know. Oh, yeah? She's got a wheelchair. Okay. She got hit with a car. Oh, wow. That's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. And I got to be close by because she has seizures and she have heart attacks and uh, what else? Stroke. I'm sorry to hear that. So how have you been handling that? What do you think the city could do to make things a little bit better? Well, about three or four weeks ago, I was on the bus. Yeah. I was out there on uh, uh, where the car wash is at this way. Yeah. I was right there at the car wash, right across the road from the car wash at the bus stop. I was waiting on the bus. When I got on the bus, one of them pulled off and I fell. Oh no. Yeah, so you fell trying to get on off No, the bus? I fell on the damn bus when she pulled off. Oh wow. She wasn't you down to... yet. You didn't sit down yet? And she started uh -huh. driving. Right. So you're saying, you know, maybe people could be more considerate on the bus, be more they, aware they, of what's happening. They don't give a damn for people. Right. They don't. They really don't. Yeah. Some do and some don't. Yeah. Why do you think people stop caring about people? I hate to say it, but they ain't got no use. They ain't got no consideration for old people like us. Okay, yeah, you think it's an age thing where they just yeah. stop? Yeah. They just don't give a damn. Yeah. How do, how do we how do we convince people to give a damn? That'd be pretty hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, we are pretty stuck in uh, just, you know, our own ways and our own lifestyle to the point where we don't really uh, think about other people at all times. And, you know, you fade more the longer you stay in that way. So it's like, is there anything we can do or anything we could say? Is there anything you would want to say to anybody, just to some sort of message or anything to try to change the situation? Well, I tried everything. They do that shit every time I get on the damn bus. And I'm about halfway crippled now on kind of my dumb ass daddy. Yeah? This leg right here, he's got a cracked bone in it. If I'm 
walking that way, I gotta watch it if a donor throw me out in front of a car. And I can't have sheep walking down the damn road. Yeah. The bus system, as you've heard, uh, could be a little bit more considerate. You know, don't pull off when somebody's getting on the bus. You know, so hopefully, as time goes on, you know, you can just worry about others a little bit more. So we're here at Burrell Park on Nebraska Avenue and 26th Avenue. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep talking to people about public transport, what we can do to make it better. Is it good already? Do we not need to change anything? Cool, so let's go find out. We're with Tampa News Force. We're talking about the public transportation system, the buses and stuff. Do you have any opinion on how the buses are run? Yeah, they need to fix these bus stops. And yeah, what should they fix about it? Make, make cover over them. They broke, they, they not one bus stop down, and it's nothing there anymore, so fix it. Okay, so the covering on the, uh, the, the areas, is there anything else about it? Are they efficient? Or? Oh, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Here, I can give you, I have two singles. There you go. Thank you. So we found out that the coverings are an issue for the areas with the buses. And um, so it's the coverings, assholes get them off the buses, and it's slow. So there's three things we've heard so far, and they haven't been positive. So that's, you know, a little disheartening. But hopefully, you know, we can figure out more ways how to fix this issue, see what else we got to do about it. We're going to keep looking around.